taking out this uh, shitty broken light fixture here and uh, run some conduit up to the roof for some uh, proper flood bulbs we're going to install up there. So we're going to start with a, a metal box over this one here. That wasn't so bad. See some concrete anchors and stuff out here. It's nice and solid. Uh, you got some pretty big gaps, but nothing, uh, nothing, some, some kind of sticky, stick them or poop you can't fix, right? Not, not too shabby. So in this clip I had way too much wind noise, so I'll just have to voice over here. Uh, I did a pretty basic offset to get uh, up to uh, over the little stucco difference there, and then uh, kind of a more complex uh, offset. The uh, forget exactly what the angles are there, but they're kind of kind of funky. It took me a couple tries I, uh, to get it exactly right. I think I wasted one one little scrap of conduit, but um, and then I did set that box up there intentionally, which is why I had to make that kind of funky bend uh, so we could get the angle we wanted on the LED floodlights there. So it worked out nice. Alright, so we got all the conduit bent up. Uh, obviously these bins right here are a little, little bit custom. Those took some took some time to figure out exactly how I wanted to get it. Um, as I said before, the angle on this box is intentional, so I can try to get the uh, the lamp sockets to kind of point where I want down there to illuminate everything. Just continue the conduit along here. Get the top of the parapet. And then on this one, I just came out of the side of the box. I'm just going to put a blank cover on top. That'll be it for now. We might pop out some more lights on the roof line here now that we got power up here. But that's what we're doing. Doing for now. here now. Just gonna do, uh, we're gonna come back tomorrow uh, with some caulking and we have some other a uh, couple other projects to do at this building too. Uh, we're gonna get some caulking for the for those holes and for the, the main box down where the old light fixture was and uh, we'll put the lamps in too. We'll try out but yeah, wired up and finished off the way it's gonna be. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and sign Line up to where it'll be hooked up to the Aztec death whistle. <laughs> so instead of a horn, just fucking someone screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> So, uh, this is the next day, and it still looks good. So you always want to check that, you know, after you take the rear goggles off or whatever, <laughs> to the night vision. <laughs> uh, we got the, uh, these are 250 watt equivalent LED flood lamps. They are the weatherproof ones. Um, we got, you know, got two down there and two up here, as we discussed, as I showed you before. So uh, now we're going to be tapping into here um, with, uh, we're going to make an outlet circuit um, for some cameras, for some uh, ring cameras. The, uh, the video feed is wireless, but they're uh, uh, plugged in. So we'll pop out, uh, need to talk to the tenant, see exactly where they wanted the cameras again, but it would be a three total. So I'll either come out of the side of one of the two boxes, if that one's not very that's not very likely. I don't have a EMT 90. That'd be the only way I could get out of there without the hard 90 fitting. Um, so I'll either pop, depending on where the cameras are going to be, I'll either pop out over there or um, I might put a uh, put a box in right here. If the camera's going to be close to here, I'll put I'll put the box in along along the conduit somewhere. Okay, 
first thing I'm going to do is maybe mount this camera here, just over the edge of the parapet. This stuff in, so you can kind of catch the angle of the driveway and everything. I'm pop an outlet out of here. should be long enough to reach. I set up two cameras here. One kind of looking that away and one looking that away. One will be mounted right here and the other will be mounted on the stack of it. They gave us pretty long extension cables on for me. They gave us some nice little clips for the wire too. Um, so I won't have, be having to do much uh, much conduit running at all. I bought uh, I bought enough uh, wire to or enough conduit and wire to pop out an outlet every, at each one, but the cords are nice and long. So another little minor thing we're gonna do here is this uh, got broken into, obviously. Uh, reinforced the backside with this two x four. So I'm gonna replace this wood trim with a piece of Unistrat. And then step drill the side for this, and then I uh, use uh, eight inch long carriage bolts, obviously with the round side out here, and uh, secure the strap that way. So it should be a little beefier. All right, so progress update here. Got right, the box installed. We got our black wire pulled down from there up to here. We just passed it through here. We split it right here so we can put the outlet in. Over to the corner there too. And we'll pop our outlet in there, and then we'll have to do the wiring down below. There's gonna be a time clock involved now. Got a little more complicated. This is a sweetheart. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this crack up here. Some coffee coming up here. Unrelated to my job, but that's the camera's mind. So I'm starting to put the cable clips on. I figured I'd go ahead and do that because I got. This is a Wendy's. A little update here before we run out of daylight or phone batteries. Get these wired up. Pretty nice for who it is, I think. Those cables. Don't wipe that down. Get a smoother bead on there. And yeah, now I'm going to go mount that one. Wire it up. Alright, got the last one hooked up. Extra wire right there. I get the lights on. Nice and bright. Just knocked a hole in the wall up there. And it's medium T down. Two long bodies. This just barely fit right here. A uh, threaded nipple of the right length. Would have made it a little closer. We wouldn't have to do this little offset, but it still looks pretty good, I think. Those are definitely bright. It's time to control the lights now.